So I have quite a specific method in the way I work around hormones. So for example, if we talk about menopause, if someone's been in full menopause and no periods for like more than four or six months, I don't necessarily check a blood level straight away. But once they're on their HRT, I will then check a level to make sure they're absorbing what we're putting into their system. I'm also going to look at things that are going to help enhance the way they absorb their hormones, particularly looking at the way they manage their stress and trying to build in some lifestyle hacks and also things like supplements like ashwagandha or rhodiola or B vitamins that can help with managing stress. I'm going to look at getting some good quality sleep because if people aren't sleeping well, they're not going to be feeling good. So it doesn't matter how many hormones you're taking. Although taking a bio or body identical progesterone really does help enhance your sleep. So the hormones can often help with sleep balance anyway. I'm also going to look at gut health and balancing any irregular bacteria because that's really important for the hormones. And then I'm also going to look at things like insulin resistance and homocysteine for heart health and just general inflammation and sugar balance in the body. I do this as well as supplements. Generally, you know, I measure vitamins and minerals and just try and really create this total package of well-being for the people I see rather than come in, get a prescription for hormones and off you go, never to be seen again. Generally, it's about getting your hormones in balance because that really does help improve your health and your well-being and your longevity. But it's also about looking at all different aspects of your life so that you can feel better, you can look better, and you can feel more in control of what's going on for you in terms of your health.